<clears throat> all right well it's already been three hours now and uh apparently uh four hours gets too long for you guys you can't wait that long <laughs> you start getting worried something happened to me or something <laughs> oh well that's nice i appreciate you looking out for me that's awesome <laughs> Uh, but sometimes I'm going to have to take the time time off, so if I, you haven't heard from me in about 24 hours or something, uh, don't panic, I didn't get lost or uh, didn't get stolen, and you know, nothing happened to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, since we're here, <laughs> I got a couple things to say. Uh, I, I got a, a comment one time, and it, was, it seemed like a long time ago, but I guess it was only about four days ago. By Christine Castleberry, one of my subs, and uh, she said, "Thank you. You are the only person on here that has ever talked to me." <laughs> I find that really fascinating and kind of almost sad in a way. <laughs> but uh, I actually have noticed other people's, uh, you know, comments and phrases, whatever. There seems to be an overtone that, you know, they get kind of the same thing that, you know. You leave comments or ask questions and nothing happens and I just find it interesting because uh, I thought that's basically what YouTube was for just a minute I forgot to turn the heater off again <laughs> yeah so you know I just thought that was uh, that was like interesting and uh, but I've noticed that myself too I've like I subscribed to quite a long list of people and uh you know, and then there's a bunch of people at the top, I guess you'd say that in a way, uh, that, you know, I've made comments or asked questions or stuff like that. And yeah, I noticed that I never get much of a reply most of the time. Like, you know, it's a very small amount of times. I get the, you know, the thumbs up and that. And I get the, the hearted comment where, you know, they've hearted my comment. So I think it must be them that's read it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't, uh, I notice that as I look around all through different channels and that, uh, there's not a lot of necessarily interaction, um, uh, back and forth with the comments and stuff. And I, I don't know, to me, that's just kind of odd. I think it, it, it's, it's kind of, that's what the point of the whole channel is for is, you know, why do they have all these sections? They got a like button. They even got a dislike button. <laughs> But, you know, they have uh, a comment section and everything. And, uh, you know, if there's a comment section, that would, to me, automatically kind of induce interaction. <laughs> or should, anyway. Anyway, so I've said, you know, like, I try to keep up with all the comments of the people. Because, I mean, that's why I'm here. And it's important to me. I want everyone to know that, you know, I'm not just not out here doing this for fun. And I don't care about anybody. <laughs> Because, I mean, this is why I do it, you know, for the interaction. that I, And there's going to get a point, I suppose, when I, I get, like, a lot, lot more subscribers, per se, that, you know, it'll be a real challenge to keep it up on top of it. And, uh, like, it already is. And, uh, and, uh, and, like, tons and tons and tons of you have all said, yeah, don't worry about it if you don't catch comments, no big deal and that. And everyone's, like, all really cool and chill about that, so... Yeah, so I, you know, just to reiterate, I guess if I do miss anyone, it's just an oversight of some sort or, you know, you know, it wasn't because I wasn't trying to or wasn't trying to look through everything to find your comment and that. So, yeah, if that happens, but, you know, like, uh, I appreciate everyone saying that, so I'm not going to stress so much about it. <laughs> Which is cool. It gives me uh gives me a little bit more to, leeway to relax, right? So that's cool. Anyway, uh, yeah, I just found that kind of interesting that you know there's not so much interaction, and I there's a couple of people that I've subscribed to or or I, I talk, you know have commented on the channel or whatever, and they have interacted, and uh, I just I feel I don't know it just feels um I don't know how to say it. It just feels good, I guess, that, you know, that's what you're there for, you know. Like, I've asked some questions and never got a reply. And it's like, well, now i got to go Google it myself. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Anyway, I'm hoping I made the point. Uh, I don't want to ramble again and again. I think I put baby to sleep. Oh, speaking of which, 
somewhere actually there's two people I know there's two people that have mentioned I can't find the comments who it was but anyway uh, they said uh, I have a soothing voice and uh, that's cool I appreciate the comment that's nice it's, uh, it makes me feel good but and also uh, explains why I, when I talk to people they fall asleep <laughs> like baby <laughs> Oh, anyway, no, that's a nice comment. That's, uh, I never, I would have never known that because I don't really listen to myself. <laughs> I don't find myself entertaining. <laughs> I'm glad you guys do. Anyway, so, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so, oh, yeah, it's time I've got a, my hair. If you've seen me do the castor oil on my hair, it's time i got to do my hair again. I'm going to do that tonight before I start my shift here. And uh, basically what I do is I, uh, if you haven't actually seen it, uh, I, I take the castor oil and drip it all down through the part of my hair here and right to the crown there. And I massage it all in there really, really well. I like it take 20, 30 minutes to massage it all in there. And then I get all my hair wet and, uh, uh, with the oil and that. And... Uh, you know, soaking in real good, and uh, basically, I've noticed uh, from what I've I, I think I missed a couple of comments about it last time, and that was like I back when I started, I, I think it was all about two years ago or something. I was getting not only like dry, brittle, and, and stuff, uh, hair like that, but I um, uh, it was like go, going grayer and grayer, kind of, and uh once I started doing the, uh, the castor oil, it slowly started taking a lot of the gray out and I only have like gray at the edges and stuff. It's not all through my hair anymore. Like it was sort of almost uh, starting to look like it was gonna go salt and pepper or something. But anyway, it's taken the gray away and uh, made it stronger and healthier and uh, like definitely stronger and, and thicker and healthier. And that, and uh, um, I forgot to mention too that when way back when I first started doing the um, the castor oil on my hair um, and that uh, well, okay what I do is I, I never use shampoo or conditioner anymore I haven't done that for a very long time for at least over two years I guess and uh, I think that's important and all I do is like just rinse my hair completely under the shower head with really hot water just rinse it and rinse and rinse it for a long period of time and you know, it just gets away all the oil, grease, and dust, and everything like that, and, and, uh, then, and that, I just let it sit for a day or two, or whatever, um, and just air out, and that, before I oil it, and stuff, but anyway, I'm getting off the point of what I was going to say, <laughs> back then, um, just uh, about six months after I started doing all that, and I was using the oil in my hair, and that, I don't know, if, I can't even remember where I found it, it was a feed online somewhere, and, uh, I noticed it was about Fabio. You remember Fabio? <laughs> I didn't know he was still around. But anyway, um, there was a few number of things um, about him. One of them was about the hair thing. Like, he never, for a very long time, I don't know, years and years and years, apparently, I guess, he's never used shampoo and conditioners and stuff like that on his hair. He's just washed it with, uh, like, really warm water and, uh, um, you know, just taking care of it that way. Never mentioned anything about oiling his hair or that, but, but I mean, he hasn't used uh, shampoos and conditioners for, um, I don't know, mega years, I suppose, and like, uh, seems to me he's always had pretty good darn hair, right, so, uh, I thought that was kind of interesting that uh, I found that out about him, and it's, you know, similar that we don't use shampoo and conditioner and that, and we just use, you know, hot water and kind of do it more naturally like so i thought that was cool another thing in the same article it was on fabio it was that uh he only eats like he eats a, a lot of eggs in the morning like that's his breakfast eggs an omelet usually an omelet yeah that's what it was omelets and uh and then he during the rest of the day he has salads and vegetables and stuff like that and then maybe for dinner or whatever all he has is a piece of salmon. Like, it's always salmon or fish. And he doesn't apparently eat red meat or 
if he does, it's probably very rare or something, but uh, it specifically mentioned he has the salmon a lot, so I thought that was pretty cool, because it's, uh, I mean, I love eggs and that, and, and he's obviously uh, in, in, like, good health and good shape physically and all that, and has been for years, so um, obviously he's doing something right with both the hair and the diet, so I just thought that was interesting, because it was uh, kind of, you know, some time well after I'd started into both the processes, um, uh, that I re found out that he, you know, we had the same thing in common, I guess you'd call it, say that. Anyway, I just thought that was interesting, trivial information. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, so, uh, there's a couple of other things here. Uh, la, 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 Okay, I'm going to mention this. Uh, I have a subscriber. The name is Blue Mountain Moth. Blue Mountain Moth. And uh, they dropped a video in my comments um, earlier. Uh, into my the comments of mine on my channel. And uh, I'm going to drop the link in my description. Because uh, it was really cool. She's done this... Um, it's a shuttle bus build, and it's uh, basically a solo female shuttle bus build, and it's, uh, I, I don't know, I saw it, I thought it was really, really cool, it was really cool, well done, and everything, and, uh, you know, man, it's so nice, like, nicely done, in my opinion, I'd love to live in it myself, it's a really nice job, I love, I love what she did in there, um, did it all by hand and everything like that, it was really cool. And another cool thing about it is, like, she's got fishing rods. Fishing rods in there. <laughs> yeah, so it doesn't look like a girly chick shuttle bus at all. It looks like, you know, it could be for a man or a woman, right? It's a unisex, I guess, bus. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's really cool looking. I really, really liked it. And, and uh, I thought, um, you know, if you like looking at... Um, shuttle buses and schoolies and all that kind of stuff you'd really probably like this one so just go have a look it's a it's a very short video so um you know it won't take you time at all um so i'm just gonna give that uh drop that link for blue mountain moth in my description there and give a shout out to blue mountain moth that was a really cool unit i love it i absolutely love it and thank you for sharing that with me that was cool definitely definitely and uh for anyone that wants to do that, that's really good. So that's a uh, shout out there to Blue Mountain Moth. And uh, then uh, also I found another uh, really cool uh, Irish dance video of tap, tap dancers. And it's like, it's only about a minute and a half. So it's, it won't take you uh, um, long at all, right? But um, it's called the best Irish dance video ever. <laughs> And I'm going to drop that link down in the descriptions as well. Um, and because uh, if you like that kind of stuff, it is really good. They're really, really, really talented. And uh, if you like that kind of stuff, you'll probably be interested. And like I say, it's only a minute and a half. So, you know, what else are you going to do? <laughs> so there, I thought I'd just bring you up to speed on a couple of different things. And let you know, baby and, pu baby and puppies are doing fine. Everyone's doing well. Let me see what we got here. Oh, look at this one. This guy's not feeding right now, so we'll show you this one. Look at how fat they're getting. They were only like this big before when they first came out. They're only that big. <laughs> right? Right? Yeah. Is that your puppy, baby? Is that your puppy? Yeah, so I think that's all I got to sh Oops. <laughs> got to share at the moment. Uh, when I have something else, we'll come back and see you, okay? So... Hope you're enjoying everything, and uh, don't fret if I'm not around for a while. <laughs> Please, <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, even Brent said, he sent me a text, and he goes, Hey, it's been four hours now. What's wrong with you? Where's your video? <laughs> Something to that effect. Anyway, I will uh, get back to you as soon as we have anything more to uh, share with you. Okay, so ciao for now.
Thank you.